Hello Fanatics, I'm Dylan Phillips and here's our series review of Kim's Convenience. Here we'll give you our spoiler free rundown, our overall thoughts, and finish off by telling you if it's worth the watch. Let's get started. Kim's Convenience follows the story of the Kims, a Korean Canadian family who run a convenience store in Toronto, Canada. Mr. and Mrs. Kim see themselves as modern, hip, and fully integrated into Canadian life, while still holding on to their more traditional Korean ways. Those around them include the many patrons of their store and their two adult children, Janet and Jung, whom they have complicated relationships with due to the disconnect between their generations and the cultures they grew up in. The series starts off as one would expect, dealing with the exploits of the immigrant experience, as the storylines walk the line of empathy and caricature. From one stereotype joke to another, it appears like a lot of the one-liners will come at the expense of outdated social norms that were conventional in TV. But this is a sitcom created by a Korean Canadian about an experience he can relate to and manage to avoid those pitfalls much like fresh off the boat. Within the first few episodes, the characters start to grow and their experiences become more relatable rather than boxes on a trope checklist. The immigrant experience, seen through the situations of Mr. and Mrs. Kim, show off how they hold on to their own traditional values while trying to fit in with the culture of the world around them. Meanwhile, their children Janet and Jung deal with what it means to be a second generation immigrant, not entirely sure of which culture they belong to, struggling to find a middle ground. As the story develops, the characters become much more realized and feel like people you could bump into on the street, which helps make the series imbue a feel-good and inviting atmosphere. Paired with the story's ability to feel authentic both in its delivery and the characters' reactions, and this small Canadian sitcom shows off its massive heart with every episode. That isn't to say the stories don't also ride the line of cringy at times, but that's needed for characters who consistently find themselves on the outside of a situation looking in, and confused that their reaction may not be the right one. Unfortunately, the only caveat is a middling final season, which seemed to cause a last-minute shift in the writing. The season lacks major character development, despite setting up multiple life crossroads for many of its characters, posing the question on whether these stories were meant to be explored in many more seasons that got cut short due to an abrupt cancellation. It seems like this final season was more concerned with setting up a potential spin-off series for one of its characters, and focusing on building their world more, rather than the family at the center who carried the brunt of this series' success. Kim's Convenience is an old-school sitcom brought into the modern age with high-quality content that makes you keep coming back. As the series progresses, it continues to excel thanks to heartfelt stories and witty comedy that are perfectly executed by a phenomenal cast that brings these relatable characters to life. While it may have ended earlier than we hoped, the story of the Kims is an instant classic for a new wave of TV sitcoms. This series never had a dull moment throughout its five-season run, with the only downside being an abrupt cancellation. So I'm going to say that Kim's Convenience is worth the watch. And that's our series review of Kim's Convenience. If you've watched the series, what did you think? Did you enjoy the story? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Dylan Phillips, and thanks for watching.